welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing another masking video. I've been having quite a number of masks recently. Today we'll be trying out Antipodes. To be honest, previously I really really don't know how to pronounce this name. Antipodes or Antipodes. Someone actually said in the comment and say that it's pronounced as Antipodes. Oh, antipodes. Now it sounds like, it sounds so weird for me to say it. Someone in the comment section in my last um, antipodes video. I will link it somewhere here or here. I don't know. I'm not sure. I was trying out their new mask, which is their brightening matte mask. It was a really, really nice brightening matte mask. I absolutely love it. I literally go and YouTube it and search how to like, pronounce this word. Apparently, there's two types. British, I believe British English, they say antipodes. But then again, there are some American English I can say that they pronounce it as antipodes. But there are some pronounce it as antipodes. So for me, I think I'm just gonna stick to what I'm comfortable with, which is antipodes. Uh, if you wanna call it antipodes, it's up to you. It's just that I'm not used to it and it's just a bit weird. Unless that's like the actual, actual name of how you pronounce it. But it seems like it's a split, it's a torn thing. So I don't really mind calling it antipodes. So I'm just gonna stick to that. Now apparently this one, the Awa Manuka Honey Mask is actually one of their best seller and it's one of the most popular hydrating or moisturizing masks. It leaves skin soothed and intensively hydrated. Now that's what I want to hear because I read it from their webpage as well. I personally also know that honey itself actually is very very hydrating. It's very good, very moisturizing for the skin. Personally, I don't know much about this. Just like most products, every single time, first impressions, I always just use them. I don't really have much info about them unless they are very very unique products then I literally need to find out how to use them but I mean th if this is like a this is definitely gonna be like a typical mask you apply on and after you rinse it off this one it says to use at sunset basically to use before you sleep and then leave it for 15 minutes and then rinse with warm and pure water I don't know where am I gonna get pure water in Malaysia because our water is I'm sure it is not safe to drink I don't know. I mean, nobody in Malaysia drinks tap water directly. We always boil it first. So, uh, I'll just assume my tap water is pure, okay? Warm... Yeah, we do not have that warm and cold tap in Malaysia. So, we just we just have one, 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 one temperature of water, of tap water. So, this is how it looks like, the tube. One of the reasons why I chose this one, obviously, is because of uh, the goodness property in them. Uh, and it's hydrating. I mean, it's pretty much everything I want in a mask. Hydrating, antibacterial. It's just fantastic. This is the kind of mask that I like because I need something like that. I mean, I do like firming masks and I do like those really deep cleansing kind of masks. But sometimes those actually leave my skin a little bit dry. The kind of masks that I usually prefer are the type that will help me to moisturize my skin. If I really want to, I guess, cleanse my pores. I don't know. I go to facial, so... I guess they will help me to clean my pores. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, uh, the other reason why I, I wanted to try this is because of how... Oh my gosh, I totally hold it to Bali. Um, the other reason why I wanted to try this is because of how cool the packaging looks. Now, this is a metal packaging, okay? So you squeeze it kind of just dents in. Oh my gosh, I don't want to spoil it. Oh my gosh, I, I, I want to show you this. Mmm. <laughs> Does it make you feel anything or, or people who like, oh no, do you? Okay, okay, I need to show you properly. Ah, ah, does it? <laughs> yes, I'm one of those people who actually use my toothpaste like that, especially when it's a new tube. Uh, some of you probably cannot tahan, so please close your eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's already ruined already packaging. I guess we're gonna just move on. I already cleansed my skin already. I, I showered. I went to the gym today. It's one of those very few times I actually go to the gym. So it has that sharp thingy at the cap. It's very traditional lah, okay? I don't know if many people know this or not, but that sharp thingy, right? It's meant for you to poke a hole. I hope nothing comes out poke a hole into the tube or the head of the tube or the metal part of the tube it's like a white yellowy paste thingy let's see oh 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 it's quite drippy though it is quite drippy 
Smells so good though. Oh my gosh, can you see? Wow. It is actually very thick. It's not super drippy, but it's very, very thick. It feels like those stiff picks of whipping cream. So it kind of feels like that. All right, are you ready? I think as it goes on to the fingers or the palm of your hands, it kind of melts a little bit. It smells really good. So judging by the feels of it, this is not one of those where you apply on and it'll peel off. I think this is just one of those where you apply on like a cream and then you pretty much just rinse it off after 15 minutes. Okay, so this is the mask. I don't think this is a generous layer. I think this is a very thin layer, but I feel like it is moisturizing enough. I don't know why. Usually I do recommend putting on a really, really heavy, generous layer of mask on, but this seems like enough. I don't need to put a lot. It just feels like it's already very moisturizing. It's already working, starting to work already. So I don't think I need to put any more than this because I don't want to go overboard on the moisture as well because although yes, I do have dry skin, but I want to make sure that I do not do go overboard and then cause clogging on my skins and things like that um, which can actually happen if you put too much moisture on your face like specific like oils if your skin can't take maybe a little bit of oil is fine but not too much it might if you put too much it might just clog your pores so just to be safe if you feel like it's already enough by the first layer or one thin layer don't have to go overboard with it essential oil fragrances of vanilla and mandarin Oh, okay, so that's like, so that's what it smells like. Yeah, it does smell a little bit like Mandarin Orange. It smells like Chinese New Year a little bit. <laughs> because in Malaysia, we kind of celebrate Chinese New Year. And every single time, every single year, Chinese New Year, you must have Mandarin Orange. So it does smell a little bit like that. feel like because it has that kind of citrusy kind of uh, ingredient in there, it is not 100% comfortable on my skin. Like I feel around this area, which is my sensitive area, I feel like it is stinging a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much, but I do feel like it is stinging a little bit. It's not the most comfortable mask on earth as compared to the um, the Brightening Matte Mask, which is very weird. That Brightening Matte Mask was very... Um, the smell was really nice. It was very invigorating. Um, but at the same time, the mask was very, very comfortable to wear. It's not something that, it's not something that's stinging to my skin. It didn't sting my skin in any way at all. But this one though, feels like a little bit on the sensitive area here. It is stinging and a little bit, just a little bit here. It is stinging. So mm, that could be a little concern for people who have really, really, really sensitive skin. But it's weird because it says that it's suited to most skin condition, especially blemish prone skin. Okay, after 15 minutes, I'm gonna get back to you. Alrighty, so after 15 minutes, this is how it looks like. Some part is still not fully dry yet, but the rest of the areas that is kinda dry already, I don't know if you still consider this dry or not because there's really nothing for you to peel. It's, it's pretty much just wash it off. And the ones that are dry, it's pretty much dry clear one. It does feel a little bit firm which is what masks usually do. I think what I'm gonna do right now is just I'm gonna wash it off and then I'll come back to you guys and tell you how it feels on my skin. Back after cleaning it off. One thing I have to tell you right, when I was cleaning my face just now and I'm washing the mask off my face just now, the smell of mandarin orange just, it's, it just enhances. It, it be comes like times 10 times even stronger. It really, really smells like Chinese New Year when someone peel open one mandarin orange. It's it, that scent. It's so apparent now that I cannot ignore it. So it feels like it's dry from the outside, but actually on the inside, I can feel like it is quite moisturizing like it is thoroughly hydrated inside it feels a little bit firming which is very interesting i never expected it to be a little bit firming maybe it is the honey the manuka honey that is causing the firmness or, or giving me that kind of firmness that i didn't thought that i would get so it's pretty cool i like it as a mask as a moisturizing mask as a hydrating mask it does feel super 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 moisturizing and super hydrating from the inside there's no redness other than the usual redness area that i have which is around this area if you want to know more you have to check out my blog but so far 
it's not causing any sensitivity like real serious sensitivity issue it's one of the more unique masks that i've tried before i've actually never tried a mask that is in this form where you apply it on it's like a cream kind of feeling and after that you wash it off it doesn't bubbles up it doesn't foam up or anything it's not like a cleanser it is a mask mask um, and it's very easy to clean up to be honest as compared to like a mud mask or whatever I mean obviously this is not a mud mask, but it's super easy to clean off It's not hard to clean off at all. This is kind of a thumbs up for me I quite like this as a hydrating kind of mask But if you are someone who has like oily skin type I don't think this is something that you'll like because it is quite moisturizing. It is quite potent when it comes to uh, moisture when it comes to hydrating your skin that's my thought but if you have dry skin though oh my gosh you should totally try this because it is fantastic i really really do like it alrighty so that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope this video helps i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button okay bye <laughs>